The lyrids are an annual meteor shower, and this year they'll be visible from roughly the 17th to the 26th of April, but the best time to see them is around the peak, which is, again, more or less the 21st, the evening of the 21st, into the morning of the 22nd of April. With the lyrids, uh, you'll be looking really for a little flurry of short-lived streaks of light, what you might popularly call shooting stars. Now, with this particular shower, you could expect to see maybe 10 to 15 an hour at the peak, so it's not massively prolific because, you know, you could be looking in the wrong part of the sky when one happens. But if you've got a clear sky, it's still very much worth a look. A meteor shower originates essentially from bits of comets, bits in cometary tails entering the Earth's atmosphere. What you have to imagine is that you've got these small particles ramming into the atmosphere at high speed. There's a lot of friction as they come into the upper atmosphere of the Earth. They heat up, the air around them is superheated, and you see this streak of light as a result. In the case of the Lyrids, it's associated with a comet that came by the Earth in 1861 called Comet Thatcher, and will not return until the 23rd century. The Lyrids are like many meteor showers, they've been observed for a long time, but these are particularly special because in this case, we think they're the earliest meteor shower ever seen, more than 2,700 years ago, or right back in the 7th century BCE. The good thing about a meteor shower, and the Lyrids are no exception, is that you don't need any special equipment. The best equipment is just your eyes, you're looking up at the sky. Now in this particular case, the radiant, the point of the sky they appear to come from, is in the constellation of Lyra, near the bright star Vega, part of the Summer Triangle. Uh, and so if you're looking in the small hours of the morning, which is essentially the best time to be watching, the morning of the 22nd, then if you've got a clear sky, really just look up. The radiant will be slightly over towards the east, but it's not absolutely critical which direction you're looking. And if you are lucky enough to see some meteors, and you're lucky enough even more to take some pictures of them, Please do share that with us on social media and we'll be delighted to highlight it.